Ricardo became a household name in the 1980s with hits like I Love You Daddy and Julia. An extraordinary musician, he made his mark in the industry at the age of eight. With his childlike voice, he's touched the lives of many through his music, enthralling audiences. Though wheelchair-bound before his death, he continued to bring hope to his fans. It's been a trying time for the family. They've been overwhelmed by an outpouring of love by fans throughout the world. I wish that um, he was alive to see all this, you know. He's gone and now a lot of people are just pouring in the love and the, the um, condolences. And I really do appreciate it, but I just wish he was alive to see that the, how the old world is loving him. Throughout his musical career, Ricardo produced numerous hit songs and toured not only the country, but also made his mark overseas. Ricardo's passing leaves a void in South Africa. That golden voice has been silenced, but his legacy will live on. We're going to miss that voice of his. Daddy, you know how much I love you. I want you. And that legacy will be carried through in his 11-year-old son. I want to be a, a singer like my father and I want to carry the legacy on that he has given me to carry on. Ricardo will be laid to rest on Saturday. This is a special um, memorial service. It is an artist tribute memorial service. We're doing that because a lot of the artists might not have an opportunity to show tribute to him in the musical sense. Berenice Moss, SABC News, Cape Town.